In this video we're going to continue our example of looking at the moment curvature plots for reinforced concrete sections. Uh, we're going to continue with our fourth point, uh, looking at the point at which the steel yields. Um, we'll use an exact procedure in which we use the actual uh, concrete stress strain behavior and uh, the uh, yield stress of the steel. The first step will be to determine our uh, KD. And we'll do this using uh, equilibrium. So we'll start off with uh, tension equal to compression. And we know that our tension force is AS times FY, and our compression force is our base width times our uh, stress. So our stress in this case is the uh, integral of 0 to KD of our F, um, F of C, which is a function of our strain. And this is integrated over uh, dy. Next we plug in our concrete stress strain relationship that we want and uh, continue our integration. Um, our next step is to use similar triangles to determine uh, or substitute in for our EC. So we know EC is um, any point distance y uh, from the neutral axis. Um, so we know that our EC is equal to our uh, epsilon C max times y divided by kd. So we can substitute this into our um, equation now. So we'll substitute um, this in for our EC. After we substitute um, in our value for epsilon C, uh, we get this expression shown here. Uh, then we're ready to integrate. When we integrate, we get uh, this expression shown here, and uh, you can see that it's a uh, function of, of kd and, and y. Um, so now we're going to integrate from 0 to kd. Uh, that'll be our next step. When we integrate and uh, simplify, we will get this expression shown here at the top. And uh, now we can substitute in for uh, ec max in terms of uh, epsilon y. So we know that our uh, epsilon c max is equal to our epsilon sub y times kd divided by d minus kd. And now we can substitute this value in for our epsilon uh, c maxes to get our next. After we substitute in our epsilon c max, uh, then we'll have this expression shown here. With uh, this expression, we know uh, all of the quantities um, except KD. Uh, so we know our area of steel. We know our Fy. We know our base width, our F prime C. Um, both uh, epsilon Y, our yield strength of the steel, um, and our strain at uh, maximum stress for our concrete. Uh, we know our D. These again, we know our D. So the only unknown is KD. So what we can do then is we can plug in um, all of our values and uh, use whatever solver function you want to, um, to solve this expression. And we'll end up finding that our KD is equal to uh, 6.52 uh, inches. 
So the next thing that we need to do is we need to check that uh, the concrete strain will still be on the ascending branch. We need to check that the, uh, the concrete strain is on the ascending branch because this is an assumption that we made earlier. Uh, so if you remember, we assumed that our uh, stress was parabolic and that we were still ascending and not uh, descending, which would change our, our behavior. Um, so we can check this by looking at our, uh, finding our epsilon C max. Uh, using the KD that we found. When we plug in uh, all of our values in, in to find our epsilon C max, we'll find it is equal to uh, 0 0.00123, uh, which is less than our epsilon naught, so we know we're okay. Uh, so next we can compute our uh, corresponding curvature. So we know our uh, curvature, we're, we'll call our curvature um, phi y, and we know it's equal to our epsilon c max divided by kd. Um, and we know this because we know our epsilon c max, uh, and we know our kd. And then this is our curvature. Uh, so then we can find this to be um, epsilon c max, which we just found, 0 0.00123, divided by our kd, which we found previously, 6.52, uh, will equal 1.89 times 10 to the negative fourth uh, reading per inch. Uh, our next step will be to compute the corresponding uh, moment. And in order to do that, we'll need to locate the centroid of our uh, compression, uh, compressive stress region. In order to find the centroid of the compression region, so the, the point at which we'll have our uh, compressive stress um, acting um, through and uh, that'll allow us to find our lever arm. Um, so in order to do that, we need to integrate. Um, so we'll integrate our area times y over our area. When we integrate, we will uh, eventually find that our y bar is equal to 4.22. Um, inches. Uh, and we can use this then to figure out our moment. Um, so just a, we should note that for parabolas, um, generally the centroid's about two thirds of uh, the, the, the total width. Um, so if we look at uh, two thirds of KD, uh, we'll be pretty close to our, our uh, 4.22, so two-thirds KD um, is a reasonable approximation. All right, so then we can find our moment. So our moment is just going to be equal to our force, so AS times Fy times our lever arm which in our case our lever arm is uh, D minus KD plus Y bar. So for us we have our AS is 2.37 inches squared. Our FY is 60 KSI our D is 17.6, our KD is 
our y bar we found was 4.22 and then plugging all these in we'll find our moment to be 2180 kip inches. So we can use this moment with our curvature that we found previously um, and plot this on our moment curvature plot. So we can continue our, our plot. So, uh, so far we found our, our point for cracking. We found our uh, after cracking curvature with, which corresponds to um, our cracking moment. And then we found our yield point and our yield curvature. And we'll just connect these with a, a straight line.